want to thank the, uh, the Baltimore Educational, Educational Foundation and the district. Uh, I'm humbled and honored to be included on this uh, accomplished group of alumni. Um, I did not start out in the Baldwin Whitehall School District. I remember, in fact, my first day at Harrison Junior High School. Uh, I was coming from a tiny little Catholic school where there were 25 students in the entire grade. And um, uh, I remember being a little intimidated by the size of my new school. But with that size came bigger educational opportunities, and I was determined to take advantage of as many of those as I could. Um, it turned out that in my career, the, the subjects that mattered most in the end were math and science, I do a lot of that, but also writing and, and English. Uh, you can't be a scientist and engineer if you can't communicate your ideas to other people. Your ideas don't end up having much impact. Uh, and Baldwin High School in particular had, uh, when I was there, three sequential English teachers who taught a particular method of writing that was um, focused, it really made you uh, put together your ideas in a logical argument, and it was really helpful. But even before that, in ninth grade, there was a, uh, a prison guard turned English teacher who decided that the entire class needed to relearn the parts of speech. So we went back and said, this is a noun, this is a gerund. Um, and just that, that re-examination of the structure of the language, I think, really helped my ability to, to develop arguments and logic. Plus, on the last day of class, he taught me how to rip a phone book in half, which is always a useful skill. Um, but uh, it was my education in math and the sciences, biology, physics, chemistry, that really led to my career in research. Um, in particular, uh, one of the teachers in chemistry and physics, Mr. Spar, at the high school. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, he, uh, he loved giving very hard problems, but also asking very probing questions. Uh, and I think that really helped push me uh, academically in, in these fields. Um, I'm currently working on a, a retinal prosthesis to restore sight to the blind, and I think that um, my foundation in the math and sciences at Baldwin really kind of helped lead to that. Uh, one last note, um, I lived outside of Pittsburgh area for about 19 years developing my career, and I moved back not just to Pittsburgh, but to the Baldwin Royal School District. And uh, my wife Gwen and I have a, uh, a one-year-old daughter who in not too many years will be attending these schools and I know she's gonna get a great education. And so thank you very much.